Hi, um, my name is uh, Dr. James Kevin, or or you could refer to me as Dr. JK. That's what some of my clients call me. So uh, basically, all I do is help my clients through adversity with their situation and their problems. And we try to find a solution to the problem so we can get through it. Hey, J. Cole, how you doing? Um, it's been um, a good minute since last time I saw you. Um, can you uh, tell me what you've been up to and like what you've been doing? Well, um, currently I've been, you know, going outside more. That's been good. Some good, That's rest. good. Uh, I've been walking beaches and riding my bike. And uh, I met somebody. Grippy. Excuse me? Yeah. You said Grippy, right? Yeah, Grippy. Her, her name is, is Gri yeah, Grippy. Grippy. Like the word Grippy. It, it, it's Grippy. Like Grippy. Okay. So, if I may ask, um, why is her name She Grippy? has immaculate skills. She likes to fuck. Um, I work with many clients. Uh, all my clients are, you know, amazing young people that that have bright futures, you know? And I feel like we should, like, instead of them talking about money and fame and all that, instead of us talking about that, we try to dive deeper in how they're feeling mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, because at the end of the day, mental health is a serious thing. Hey, how you doing today, Ak? Um, I wanted to ask... It's DJ Academics. DJ Academics. I'm sorry. Let me... Yeah. Let me get that right. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Thank nah, you. Nah, nah, you good. You good. So, DJ Academics, um, I wanted to explore how you feel about the conflict between you and your peers. Um, in the survey you filled out, you said that uh, the times are getting real tough for you. And I just wanted you to elaborate on how times have been getting real tough for you. Yeah, man. Like, well, I, I don't know how to say this. It was like, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Like, one mm -hmm. minute I was like, drop, 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 drop. Because cause I was like, who is better than Drake? Who is better than Drake? There is no one better than Drake because Drake is the greatest person ever. And I thought, like, this is what I was thinking, right? Because in my mind, I was like, he has nothing for Drake. Because right. Drake is like this. Mm. He's like that guy. He's that guy. Like, he's that dude. Like, what happened? It was like, we, we were up. We were up. We were up, so up. It was like, we, hey, it was like a 2-0 lead, right? It was like a 2-0 lead. Like, we had a 2-0 lead going into half. Like, like it was game three. We were like, oh, yeah, we mm -hmm. got this in the bag. No, out of nowhere, you know, Kendrick, mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar wants to ruin everything. He wants to sit here and, like, get all, get all upset and mad. I, I, like, he should have just sat there and let it happen. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't get, I don't get why. Why would he do that? Why would he talk to Adonis? It's Drake's fault. Why would he do that? Why would he shut me up? What the f did I do? What did I do? It's really challenging. And I can see that. First step um, we should um, take in this time of adversity for you is acceptance. Accept. What? Tense. Acceptance? Right? Acceptance that your peer, Drake, right, was defeated. What is I'm that sorry, gonna do I know for you me? don't want to like, hear that, but what? Just recently, um, most of my clients, uh, I don't know how this happened, but most of my clients have it's like <laughs> like that was supposed to be like a like a bomb. Um, but yeah, most of my clients have been um, clashing 
And it's like, you know, as we're progressing, right? You know, it's, it's just really hard to grasp like how everyone's doing because everyone was affected differently in this situation. I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, it, it, it was it was different. Welcome back, Kendrick. Uh, it's been a minute last time you came to a session. Um, last time we spoke, um, you said that um, you don't know why they keep playing with you. Um, I want you to go into detail on who's they um, and tell me how does that make you feel? His mind was conflicted. He was misusing his influence. And sometimes I thought the same. Right. Um, mm. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He lied about religious views. Okay. He lied about his surgery. He lied. He lied. Calm down, Kendrick. Remember last time. Remember I'm, sorry, Dad. Breathe. I'm sorry, Dad. <sighs> Breathe. I'm sorry. Breathe. So, um, are we still um, from last session? Are you still seeing dead people? Oh, yeah, about that. Uh huh. What's going on? What, what, what is this? We're all affected by something, you know? And that that something can weigh on you. And at the end of the day, if you don't have someone to talk to, it can lead to a lot of consequences, you know? Um, especially if you don't have the right support system around you or you just don't have someone to listen. What I'm trying to get at is that this thing called life is hard. And if you don't have the, the emotional and mental stability um, that you need um, to get through this thing called life, things could get really challenging. And so I'm just saying that um, if you feel like you have no one to talk to, find someone that listens to you. You never know um, that that could change your life. Um, because some of these clients apparently didn't have none of none of that around them. Some. I'm not saying all, but some. Yeah.